What is subclinical hypothyroidism? Subclinical hypothyroidism is borderline hypothyroidism. Most people are asymptomatic, that means they don't have any symptoms whatsoever. Some may have subtle symptoms though. And if you look at the blood test, the TSH is slightly elevated, the free T4 levels are still in the normal range. So, should it be treated or not is the million dollar question. There are certain factors which help us determine as to whether it should be treated or not. If somebody's TSH is progressively increasing, we consider treating. If somebody has plans to become pregnant, we treat them. If somebody is already pregnant, we treat them. If somebody is elderly and frail, we try not to treat them unless the TSH is going more than 10 and consistently above 10. If somebody has got um, age on their side, that means if they are young in their age and if they are symptomatic, we tend to treat it. And not to forget the fact that if somebody has got goiter or thyroid nodules, it is a reason to treat it. If somebody has got antiperoxidase antibodies, also called antimicrosomal antibodies, we tend to treat such slightly elevated TSH values. All these have to be taken into context before we treat. What dose of thyroxine do we give? We give about 25 or 50 micrograms depending on the body weight and depending on the TSH value. Leave it to your doctor, don't self-medicate and this has to be followed up. What happens if subclinical hypothyroidism is not treated? Some people can become hypothyroid if it is left untreated and not monitored. Also, some people may develop problems related to the heartbeat, uh, heart attacks, increased risk or heart failure as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, do not over treat or self treat subclinical hypothyroidism. Leave it to the specialist because your specialist can decide if it needs treatment and if so in what dose. Take care. Mm -hmm.